Our next guest is quite simply one of Ireland's greatest actors and he's wondering why the hell he's here this morning. He's been nominated for an Oscar, a Tony Award, a Golden Globe and he is a two-time BAFTA Award winner. I've got a gossip. We've yes. got a gossy. I mean, come on, we're in the yeah. same, same uh, he's, category. He's uh, also worked alongside some of Ireland's greatest, from Samuel Beckett to Oscar hopeful Killian Murphy. We're delighted to be joined by in studio by Stephen Ray. Good morning to you, Stephen. How are you? Um, listen, morning. whatever about uh, Killian Murphy winning the Oscar, as you said, what's most important is that Ireland beat Scotland <laughs> or Ireland beat England <laughs> this weekend in Six Nations or Scotland. That doesn't matter. We'll <laughs> bring them on. Them. Bring them all on. That's how confident <laughs> we are at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are you? You're like, I mean, listen when we go through the awards and everything oh. you've been a part of like do you do because you, it doesn't sound like you're slowing down at all like what's what's your mindset in terms of like work at the moment these days well I, I like work I like this work has always had more structure for me than life if you know what I mean you know you go in in the morning you know who the people are and then you you can get away from them in the evening and all that you know so it's that, really it's and how is it that you've structured your life? Obviously, you have had a very long collaboration with Neil Jordan. So I'm assuming yeah. if he's doing something, you're like, I obviously have a part. Am I working next year? <laughs> is that? Do you assume these days you have a part? Um, yeah, I've done 11 movies with him. Yeah. That's quite a lot, really. Um, he's a great director. And um, he thinks I, I think he feels that I understand him, you know. Mm. Um, I, uh, but he's finding it harder to get movies now, you know. I think, oh God, if he hears this, he'll be annoyed with me. But um, <laughs> I, there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of structure in uh, movies that were, you know, he's he's a great writer. He's a fantastic writer, and he should be allowed to do what he wants to do, you know. Is it changed? Because listen, you look at television, I look at sport, like the professionalism of the young players now compared to what it was, and you talk about the structure. So is movie making so much more different now than what it was? I, and maybe do you think it's maybe less fun? Um, I think, well, I've done a lot of movies, so it's, it does get less fun. And I did a series last year in England and I won't even, but I, I, I didn't even understand it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? And and then when you get a bit uh, older, <laughs> as I am, the, uh, you don't. I don't understand the characters. What? what Lawyers what? and I can't tell you the name of it. Um, Is it out? Has it been out? No, it'll be out later this year. But it's. Uh, I just, you know, see, that's the key. Someone look up IMDb and see what's coming out for no, Stephen. The key to being a good actor is just. Freewheel it. Just yeah. who cares if it says lawyer? And then, but then the thing is, after COVID, yeah, everybody came back having not worked for yeah. three or four years, and then they couldn't remember their lines anymore. the The mechanism had failed. Did you find that? Because we all found that our like our attention spans are different now yeah. after COVID. Did you find that? I did find that. I was doing. I, I was playing Kathy Bates's husband in a film recently called The Miracle. I think it was called a miracle, and uh, and 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 she was having trouble with her lines, and I was, we were talking about, it and she said everybody when they came back after COVID had trouble with their lines, even Streep. Oh, wow! Meryl had trouble with her lines. And, you know, she's not a girl that has trouble. No, I love the way you just dropped that in. Even great, <laughs> so I don't feel so bad because in that world, you've you've done all of those things. I know that your heart is on the stage, and, and we'll get to what you what you do there. But you've gone to the Oscars. You've been nominated. You've played opposite the likes of Kathy Bates. Killian Murphy's going this weekend, hopefully winning. What's it all like? Um. It's it's much more uh, it's much not so much fun as you would hope it was you know um, I mean when I w went for the uh, um, Academy Award like there was Clint Eastwood was nominated Denzel Washington Robert Downey Jr Al Pacino <laughs> Al Pacino got it for probably the worst performance of his life Scent and of a woman was it Yes Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, but everybody told me beforehand, don't worry, you won't get it because Al's going to get it this year. 
But that's really? very frustrating. They knew. Yeah. Like, it's not very frustrating. Uh, well, because I was reading you saying this and you said that, oh, it's, it's Al's turn. Yeah. But that's not really the way an award should be. And, and even for, for someone like Al to get it for a role that he feels probably wasn't his best, does it mean as much? I think it means as much in terms of what your agent asks for the money afterwards, you know. <laughs> that always helps, doesn't it? Yeah. I know. <laughs> but I have talked to you, I remember reading something from, um, uh, Ka uh, oh God, she played Murphy Brown, Kansas, and she just said, oh, I was so mortified the year that I was nominated because I took it so seriously. And then you realise when you look back at it, it's all a bit of a farce for people to make money. Yeah. But at the same time, it is important for careers. And we're all sitting here this weekend hoping, like we watched the Irish team, mm -hmm. that Killian Murphy, a, a co-star oh, well, of yours, is going to win. Yeah, I think Killian will win it. I do think Good. that. You know, um, he's a lovely, lovely guy and a beautiful actor. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, I don't fancy him or anything, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> glad you cleared that up now as well. To, my oh, God. But listen, you'd like to hope that it is his turn because he was fantastic in Oppenheimer as well. And, but do you sometimes think with the whole razzmatazz and uh, everything that goes into the likes of the Oscars and the talk about it, when I know that you're now an ambassador with UNICEF yes. and you did some work, you went over to Africa and yeah. saw what people are what people are living through in yeah. the likes of Somalia. And it, yeah. it, I'd say it very much grounds you and makes you think, you know, these are the things that maybe are more important. Well, of course they are more, of course they are. I mean, uh, you know, particularly with the American influence, movies are just about making money, you know. Mm. But I would say that's why I love Neil is, it, he's not averse to money, but he's really, his scripts are beautiful, you know, and like, it's it's quite important. Art. And yeah, and like The Crying Game was an important movie about yeah, fantastic it, identity. Absolutely. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, so, so I don't know that that's what it's like in America anymore, do you mm. know? Yeah. But yeah, the UNICEF thing is, uh, well, we have to look after the children, you know? And um, the, the thing I felt to say in Somalia was that those people are suffering from climate, uh, the, the effects of climate change. And they are not responsible for climate change. If you go and see the traffic out on that road mm -hmm. coming here, we are responsible for climate change, you know, and and the effects on people who can't can't do anything about it. And they're they're suffering terribly there, mm -hmm. really terribly. And people are they have uh, drought and famine and uh, floods, so it's. I mean, we went to a camp where the, this woman with her children had walked for two weeks to get there. One of her kids had died, and and she was trying to feed, uh, to breastfeed her, her youngest child. And um, she hadn't had a meal herself. She had nothing to offer the child, you know. This is just, mm. you know, we've got over the, the poverty problem. And, well, yeah. A lot of people will not agree, but um, the, 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 the extremes of life that existed here mm. have gone a bit, haven't they? And it's time that we have, we have to be, it's not just about, um, oh God, the poor farmers have to plant different things. We have to change our attitude to climate change because we're causing problems for the rest of the world. How do you, th when you talk about things like that, because often you can see that people will be like, oh, you know, famous actors, what do they know about oh, real no, what life? Oh, know about anything. You know, yeah. what, but you're a human who lives in the world who has a right to vote like everybody else. Do, do you think that, um, that people fobbing you off in that way, does that get incredibly annoying? Because you've got a voice, you may as well use it. I know, I, I, well, yeah. No, I have a voice. Yes. And I'm very concerned, of, obviously, about things that, happen in our world and yeah. you know uh, actors often care more than a lot of other people because the work that we do um even though i've ceased to understand half of it is um <laughs> the, the work we do concerns our world you know i and love this from a man who know knew samuel beckett and performs <laughs> in beckett plays oh, yeah. all the time and most of the world will be going what, what what's going on there now with, uh, with, with waiting for god well Oh, no, I always understood what Waiting for God yes. meant. And I, I mean, I didn't have any problem when people were stomping out of theatres and everything because <laughs> they didn't get it, you know. But, no, 
Beckett's just one of the great, great writers. And uh, I was lucky enough to work with him in the room. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, giving you advice and, you know. What an extraordinary Amazing. thing. What extraordinary, do, really. Extraordinary. Right. And hopefully everyone's going to ask Stephen to be doctors and lawyers and engineers <laughs> and astronauts and all of his next product. And he'll go, yeah, Grant. Don't <laughs> Fine. The way we have Fine. casting. I'll just no, 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 get no, me no, on no. screen and that's where I'm at my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, it's an absolute pleasure to have you oh, with us. Oh, Thank listen, you so much pleasure for coming to be with you guys. Yeah, thank Thanks you very much in indeed. No. And for more information on what uh, Stephen was doing, you can see more on unicef.ie. Absolutely needed in these times as well. Yeah, Stephen, uh, pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for that. Stephen, cheers. Um, we've still lots more to